Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to QC Comics with, of course, another action figure unboxing video. And today I finally found a NECA figure that I wanted to take home. Um, I do love NECA, but uh, I've kind of picked up all of like the horror icons and everything I really wanted. And I have yet to find the uh, Secret of the Ooze Turtles. And I didn't really dive into the um, the cartoon versions. There's just so many. And I just didn't want to go down that rabbit hole. And then I spotted this. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. And I'm going to pick this up. So this is the last Ronin, the unarmored version. You can see there on the back. Some, uh, you know, just some photography, toy photography there. If you're not familiar with the character, there is the information on it. And this is um, <laughs> from a five-part series that I did actually get. Unfortunately, uh, I have not read it. I was waiting to get all of them so that I could kind of binge read it because they were just kind of few and far between the, uh, the books. And then by the time they all finally came out, uh, I just... I put them on the bookshelf and I haven't read it. I do know some spoilers. I know which turtle this is. So I'm not completely in the dark, but some of this, like this little character here, I'm just not familiar with yet. Uh, I do have, like I said, I have all five of the comics on the shelf. I just have not read them. And I was actually thinking about, as I'm showing off the box, saving this. However, I dropped it tried to catch it and ripped it. So I guess I don't really need to be careful when opening this now. And there were two of these on the shelf at my local Walmart. And surprisingly, this was actually at the Walmart with, uh, like, no NECA selection. I mean, just few and far between on the NECA stuff. So, it does come with a little book here. I don't think that opens. Nope. So, the significance of that book, uh, I will have to uh, wait and see. Till I get around to uh, reading it. So you've got a broken sword here. I don't know if it's Leo's sword or, you know, just a sword that is broken, but very cool accessory. Again, with another weapon here, and I don't know if this is meant to be Raphael's. Could be, maybe, who knows? So, you have that accessory there, very cool. Then of course you have the nunchucks. Just kind of dangle those there. So there you go. And then, uh, so you've got kind of one of every turtle weapon there. And then in lieu of the, um, you know, Donnie's bow, you have this kind of baton. And this is something a little different, so I think I might actually pose them on the shelf with this. So, I do like that quite a bit. Uh, let's see. I'm not... Let's see if... So there are four of these here. And again, I just I haven't read the story, so I'm not exactly sure what these are supposed to be or what the significance is to the character. Or even where I put them, <laughs> the character. Um, you also have some alternate hands here. Now I'll just kind of show them off instead of popping them all out. You know, you got some closed fists, some open hands. Uh, let's see, actually. So yeah, so this would be like for holding a sword. Right, left. You've got some open hands. And then he's got what's kind of closed fists on there. And then let's see if we can get this head out here. So you have an alternate head, and I think this is actually going to be the one that I'm going to place on the figure. I like the expression of the one that's already on the figure, but I don't know, I kind of like seeing the teeth there. So, but uh, very cool head sculpt. And then again, I really, I almost thought about powering through the story last night. 
so that I could be kind of prepared and know exactly what everything is. You got a kind of a little robo dog here. But uh, ultimately, I, I just, I didn't want to force myself to rush through it. So I wanted to take my time and enjoy the story. So I'm going to get into that this weekend. And I just couldn't wait. I haven't opened a neck figure in a while. So let's get this guy out of here and see what we think. Okay, so here we have him free of the plastic. And uh, I would recommend keeping some clippers nearby. There were a significant amount of plastic ties holding him in, so. But he was nice and secure. Wow, I really, really like that turtle shell. I don't know if it's just the coloring or what with uh, the black wash kind of worked in there. That looks really nice, like that. And actually, as I just kind of show him off, I'm going to say I, I love this guy from head to toe. This detail here with the uh, the material um, sculpted in there looks fantastic. Two different knee pads there. Show the feet. As mentioned, uh, this head sculpt I'm probably going to swap out. I think I just like the one where you can see the teeth a little better. Um, you got some, some really nice cuts and scrapes he just looks old and weathered and battle worn and uh yeah this is really making me want to read the story i'm gonna have to swap out some hands here too because don't yeah these here don't really uh i don't know if they'll hold weapons maybe those little picks i mean yeah i guess there's a um, bit of an opening can't really see on that one but that one you can see I'll have to see what the significance of those little picks are. But, uh, yeah, because I don't really see anywhere you can store them. You have storage, you know, for the, the nunchucks and the sai and the sword and everything here. And as mentioned, this is the unarmored version. I am looking forward to getting the version with the hood. You know, the version that you, you see on most of the comic covers. But this one was available. As mentioned, there were two there. These little gaunt looks, the gauntlets look really cool too. The little screws in there. Wow, great detail. Yeah, I am loving this figure and it feels great in hand. It, it, it's, you know, a little bit of ab crunch there. Uh, you know, it's NECA, so I'm, I'm not gonna work the joints too much without warm water bathing this thing. But it, it moves and feels pretty darn good right out of the package. I actually don't know if I would need to warm water. I mean, I'm going to do it just, just to be safe. But yeah, it moves pretty good out of the package. It just, it feels really good in hand. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. I'm glad I picked it up. I I, I thought about it for a second and then I was like, eh, do I want to get this? Do I not want to get it? Yeah. Anyway, let's pose them up and uh, let's give our final thoughts and grade. Okay, so there we've got the last Ronin posed up, ready to go. What do we think? Well, it's great figure. Top to bottom, looks great, feels great. Uh, the overall sculpt work, I have zero complaints. Paint application, all fantastic. Love the weathered look of this turtle. The accessories are great. Um, I'm not sure if I have these accessories kind of in their right designated spots, but... Um, you know, the nunchucks fit good in this back spot. The side goes good there. The sword felt a little long, popped in the back like it was going to kind of go against the back of the legs. So I put the sword on the side there and uh, yeah, have this kind of almost like police metallic baton. Uh, yeah, he looks cool with that. And uh, I really dig this figure. As far as a grade goes, I think this is, uh, I think it's a 9.5 out of 10. I'm leaving a little wiggle room because I feel like the armored version, if it feels as good in hand, if it moves as good, I feel like that one might be the 10 out of 10. So yeah, this is a, this is a solid 9.5, really good NECA figure. Uh, I picked this up for $34.99 at my local Walmart. Of course, that's uh, about a $5 increase from what NECA used to be. As with most things, unfortunately, a little more expensive. Uh, so I have definitely been more selective with what I purchase, which is why I just haven't bought much NECA recently. You know, at, at, after tax, about 40 bucks a pop, 
it's got to be something I'm interested in. And thus far, uh, up until this, I just, not a lot. Uh, I'm still waiting to find the secret of the use figures. So uh, this definitely, though, I really, really enjoy. So have you seen this figure at your local Walmarts, Targets? What do you think? Are you holding out for the um, the armored version? Do you like the unarmored version here? Let me know in the comments. And uh, this is still available for pre-order, I believe, at a lot of places. So I think I might have picked this guy up early. I might be ahead of the curve for once. So <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, I'll have more videos coming out later in the week or shortly. So keep an eye out for those. To all my subscribers, thank you so much. Really appreciate you watching the videos. I do these for fun. And just seeing that some people watch them and enjoy them makes me feel great. So thanks again. Take care. We'll see you next time.